Let's go, let's go. What up, y'all? It is your boy, Zach, here. Yeah. All right, let me start again. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It is your boy, Zach, here. Yeah. Most favorite, most number one, electrical keyboard fan. Most favorite, most number one, electrical lightning bolt fan. Jeez. What up, y'all? It is your boy, Zach, here. Yeah. Most favorite, most number one, electrical keyboard fan. Most favorite, most number one, electrical lightning bolt fan. In this video. It's a very great slideshow, but it's a new slideshow. It's a very, very new slideshow that I just made. So let's get straight into this. But before I do, hashtag, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, and share this video with your friends, family, students, and teachers to make it easier for them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Both of like, what you doing? Oh, nothing. Just looking at my TV. Both girls are like, got you. Alright. Main Power Hour God versus Jack and Daxter. Let's find out. Alright. What kind of weapons does Jack have? Let's check it out. In Jack 2 Renegade, he has a Scattergun, Blaster, Vulcan Fury, and the Peacemaker. These are the weapons he has in Jack 2 Renegade. And in Jack 3, he has the... <laughs> he has a Wave Concussor that can make Shockwave Cannon Mode. Once the weapon fully charges... It takes out every enemy. It takes out every enemy in a shockwave. He also has a plasmite RPG. It can shoot out grenades once you push the trigger of this weapon. The y yellow blaster <laughs> weapon can take out enemies. And the second yellow weapon is a beam reflexor. Once you push the trigger of this weapon, every beam will start bouncing off the walls. Yeah, that has to be my most favorite weapon yet. I know, it's pretty amazing. Jesus. Bring that down below. Oh, I can't. What the heck? What other weapons does Jack have? The heck? He also has the Gyro Burster. Once you push the trigger of this weapon, the drone comes out of this weapon and will start shooting everywhere. True. We know that the Vulcan Fury got added, and the other blue weapon is called is the Arc Wielder. That bad boy can shoot out the blue stream of death. Yeah, that bad boy, oh, she should do not want to mess with that weapon. The other blue weapon is called the Needle Laser. Laser. The Needle Laser. That weapon can emit clusters of laser bolts. We also know that the Peacemaker got added, of course. The Mass, the mass Inverter can take anti-gravity and make other creatures float in the sky. Mm -hmm. The last weapon is the last purple weapon, and it is called Supernova. Super? What the heck? <laughs> wow. This is the last purple weapon, and it is called Supernova. That can launch out a nuke rocket, and let destruction take place in the Metalhead Tower. Both girls are like, both and girls are like, sheesh, man. I know, it's crazy, man. That's like, every weapon, man, will go like, I know, I know, man. Does Jack have the dark version of him? Let's check it out. What? Look, that's a dark version. <laughs> okay. I was just kidding. Does Jack, does Jack have the dark version of him? Let's check it out. Yes. It is called Dark Jack. Once he has that power, he can take dark cells, put them together, and perform the dark strike. I'm not scared. I can use my lightning powers against that action. Both girls are like, I got you. Yeah. 
Get a mosquito by day. I don't know. Anyways, so swoon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I remember that actually. Sheesh. Does Jack have a light side of himself? Let's check it out. Yes. He has the ability to fly with his wings in Jack's way. And also, yeah, fly, you know. And also, he can use a shield and heal himself. And also, he has his own jet board, which is amazing. And it freezes time. But for me, I can freeze weapon time. And that means I can prevent him, or stop him from using his weapons. And also, stop him making light powers. Those girls are like, I got you. Yeah, so those boys goes to like, so it's going to be a battle or something? Yeah, I'm just making sure who wins. Those girls are like, I know, I got you. Yeah. Can the main power hour god prevent supernovas? Like, can the main power hour god stop supernovas? Let's check it out. Yes, he can stop supernovas from happening. If stars, so let's say if stars use up hydrogen and helium in the future, hydrogen, then in the future, hydrogen will go away because he, they use it all up. And hydrogen will go away, and helium will make that star. So, the star looks like this, right? A star looks like this, right? It's using up all that hydrogen, and after, when that hydrogen goes away, the helium will make that star expand. And after that, it's back into a little tiny white dwarf. And helium will make that star expand and explode, just like that. But the main power hour god can get like five bottles of hydrogen without making a star explode. And let all of that hydrogen in that star. And the star will have unlimited hydrogen and will never, ever expand. So, in the future, possibly, uh, scientists could figure out a way to um, get unlimited hydrogen and put them in all of them stars and make sure they'll never, ever explode. So, in the future, it could be a possible. It could be a possibility that scientists can get hydrogen from the lab or something, send it to space, and stars will have like unlimited hydrogen and will never expand. That could possibly happen in the future. That could possibly happen. We just got to be quick on it or take some time, you know. Can the colors of lightning be stopped by freezing time? Let's check it out. No. Yes? No. Let's see. No. The colors of lightning are not affected by the freezing time scenario. The colors of lightning can't be freezed because the colors of lightning have a secret element inside of them that makes them immortal. Those girls are like, oh, I got you. Yeah. So check this out. What is this secret element inside of... What is this secret element inside the colors of lightning coal. Let's check it out. Jeez, what the... <laughs> Alright. It is called D E M and that is for sure and that is, you know, dark electrical matter. Another new type of matter that can and, and that can make the colors of lightning stable. And if the colors of lightning did not have that secret element, then the colors of lightning will be unstable and will explode in a matter of seconds. You know, matter, dark electrical matter, in a matter of seconds? Get it? Get it? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Oh, jeez. What is the very last lightning power that I have? Now I keep saying I have one more lightning power. I believe this is the last one. I, will, I believe this will be the last one, so let's get straight into this. This lightning power, I believe, will be the last one in the Power Hour series. It is called Black Hole Lightning. Those are like, what? How is that possible? Well, let me tell you all about it. 
What black hole lightning does is that every time it gets close to a supermassive black hole or even a regular one, it will take away the black hole's gravity. Both girls are like, well, say what? That's something new. I'll tell you what. And it will make that black hole explode in a quadrillionth of a second. Both girls are like, that is crazy right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Even supermassive black hole gravity. And it can take away traveling through time scenario. Because black hole lightning is so strong, when you get close to black hole lightning, every time that lightning power strikes, it can rip you apart very quickly. Those girls are like, this is too crazy. I know. Whoa, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> uh, I probably didn't see that, though, because now I'm browser. Anyways. <laughs> It is much more faster than a regular black hole, and it is much more faster than supermassive black holes. Boys and girls are like, so what you're saying is, black hole lightning is the number one lightning power that's the most powerful than regular black holes, and much more powerful than supermassive black holes, boys and girls are saying. Yes. I know, it's crazy, man. Right. Main Power Hour God versus Jack and Dexter. Who will win? Let's check it out. So, I think the Main Power Hour God will win. And that is because he has way more powers than everyone else. And he is a king of all kings, which makes him much more powerful than that guy in heaven. Oh, oh, this guy. I said I wouldn't mention Jesus in the slide, too. That's a, 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 the God Particle one. Um, that's be the better last time. Well, this is a bonus. Bonus time, baby. Bonus time. The very last mentioning about this guy in heaven. That's it for all Jesus Righteous. All right, here we go. So I think the main power of our God will win. And that is because he has way more powers than everyone else. And he is a king of all kings, which makes him much more powerful than that Jesus guy in heaven. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Those girls are like, all right, sounds great. Yeah. And he accepts that, which is really amazing. I love you, Power Hour character. I will keep making the amazing creations that I do for all of you. Both girls are like, yeah, man, keep it up. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this slideshow. Hopefully this was quite informational. Wait, did I mention? Hold up. Yeah, I did do this. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Credits, comments, in the outro. Main power of God is like unstoppable, man. Sheesh. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please very immortal. Credits, comments, in the outro. I've already done that. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Main. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. The main... Oh, hold up, hold up. Peace. <laughs> main, the main power our God always says, he says, peace is out. Weak. <laughs>